Hey, it's Pete's Dude Man. We're back to ukulele. Yeah. As you can tell, we're on a new recording session because we're not in the world that we were in. And uh, I think we're keeping up our tradition of only playing this game once every couple weeks. Not by our right? own volition. No, it's just, a, it's, just, <laughs> it's just a busy time of year. You know, end, end of the school yeah. year for me. That's busy. Does it just mean does the TV seem darker than usual? It seems a lot darker. I haven't touched it all weekend, so. Maybe it has something to do with the power outage. I don't yeah. know. Maybe it resets some of the settings. Because we had power outage this week, and it lasted only a few minutes. Like 10 to 20 minutes, I think is how long it lasted. I didn't realize that we had a power outage. Because I was here just doing my thing, watching YouTube videos and stuff. And then, like, I kind of noticed that, like, my computer wasn't charging. Oh, hey, Trouser's not here. Maybe he's in the archive now. Oh, no, what I realized was that, like, my YouTube video wasn't loading. Oh. Uh, and so I was just like, crap, my internet's fucked up, you know? Right. And then, like, I go to check the, like, power and everything, and then I realize everything's off. And at the time, I was baking something. And so, like, it turned off in the middle of me baking this, like, banana bread. I'm like, god damn it! But, yeah, yeah, there's only a couple weeks left of the school year, and then I should be able to get back on track as normal. Mm -hmm. So, I think we can make it to there. Unless we travel a lot. Psst! Over here! Hey, Trouser. What are you doing slumped in this shady corner? He doesn't seem very slumped. I've got another free maneuver for you, but this one needs to stay off the books, pal. Okay. This next move was taught to me by a wise grandmaster. That's, that's a little too uh, many S's, It's weird when he, like, sticks, like, his tail down the pants to try to get something. <laughs> It doesn't look very kosher. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> With this ancient body bubble technique, you can wield the powers of the ocean and walk underwater. That sounds very helpful. I'm glad we did this. It's important to go back to this, the hub, every once in a while to get these. We Finally, something carpet. useful. How do we master these powers, burn boy? Isaac, we should get when we you get want our carpet house, like that. Ha well, yeah, have our carpet be like that. First, take a deep breath. Then, when underwater, push R two to release your gulp as a piping hot water bubble. And then press D two to summon Star Wars. Erg. Is there a more uh, socially acceptable method for walking underwater, Chaser? Not for free, there isn't. Why don't you try out your new move in that aquarium over there? <laughs> I can't take him seriously when he grabs the phone out of his pants. It's like, Is that a phone in your pants or you just happen to see me? <laughs> don't mind me itching my cloaca here, sir and or madam. Wait, was I in the water for a second there? Yeah, yes, you were. I think you just phased through the wall was what happened. Yeah, I think that's what happened too. And yet it made a water sound because you phased through it? That is... Alright, okay, now what did he say? First I go underwater, and then I press R2. D2. And then I come up water. press D2. And then I press R2. D2. So wait, <laughs> so wait, is, is it what I think it is? Wait, let's listen real quick. <laughs> I think he farts it. <laughs> what? <laughs> so mature game. Oh, it's a hidden door! That's great. I want hidden doors in our house. Uh, what? Yes, I want hidden passageways into our house. Dude, does it let me breathe underwater too? Maybe. It does. Oh, sweet. It just doesn't let me swim. That's, yeah. that's the only trade-off. Cool, that's a really helpful power. Yeah. I bet that's how I'm going to get through um, that one underwater area in Travel Stack Tropics. Ooh. So... Can we have secret doors? Sure. Between I'm... our bedroom and the kitchen. Do, 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 and the kids do. won't know. So then, like, we could actually sneak into the kitchen and get food when they're asleep. Water works. Does this water look safe to you? No. It does not look safe at all. Neither does that plant. It seemed like it was sinking. Flat, 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 flat. Uh -oh. no! Oh, the water is safe. It's just, you know, like I said, dark. our TV is really dark right now, and I, I'm looking at the capture footage right now. It's still dark. This is just a dark area of the game. Mm -hmm. For us on the TV, it looks like 
black. Like oozing goopy gloop. It's like, whoa. It's like death water. Death water. That oh. sounds like a terrible band name. Death water? That's an old joke. Really? Yeah, death water in, um, in Super Mario World, there's lava sometimes, right? Uh-huh. And, um, right, that's all red and stuff. And sometimes, though, you're in caves and there's just this brown water that makes you die. Ew, it's poop. And, poop or, or sometimes it's purple. Death poop. And then people <laughs> just call it death water, right? Yeah. Uh, and what happened was uh, there's one uh, LP or in particular that I really, really like, uh, Seamus, S-S-O-H-P-K-C, who just, yeah, anytime that water would appear, because he did, he did a lot of Super Mario World hack games, so he would see it a lot more than other people. Uh, he would go, Death Water! And so I've always, Someone I still I still reference that. I still reference that a lot. The death Water! Someone seriously needs to make that a band. You know how there's a joke of, like, good band name? Yeah. We should do one called Terrible This is cool. Name. I can stay underwater indefinitely now, because anytime I'm getting close to the out, I can just make a bubble. Yeah, you broke the Damn. game! Breaking it! You know what? No, no, no. I don't even going to call it that. You know, underwater exploration in 3D games, like Sonic Adventure 2 and Donkey Kong 64 and things like that, used to be a real pain in the ass. Oh, yeah. And this game actually makes it fun with that change. Well, even in games like Skyrim, it's a pain in, pain in the ass unless you're like a like no one, no one. I mean, water in video games has gotten such a bad reputation because of shit. Like I mean, death that. water. So right? I mean, like <laughs> oh Jesus. Ah, uh, jellyfish. Um, this actually makes it fun. Yay, fun! So I'm I'm down with that idea. Down with the death water. Sorry, I'm saying that too much. Come on, let's get down with the death water. So I guess we're just doing some Hivery... What are we... Where are we going? I guess we're just uh, doing places. some Hivery Towers exploration today, because yeah. we got this. I'm, like, half tempted to grab that kombucha again and try to finish it. Oh, yeah, if Rosie's tried kombu is trying kombucha. kombucha now, I don't really time. understand what kombucha is. What is kombucha? Fermented tea. Fermented tea. So it's alcoholic tea? It's... Yeah. <laughs> it's uh, a little okay. bit alcoholic. It won't get you, like, totally drunk or anything, but... If you drink oh, it too fast, you'll get a little buzz. It's a shortcut. Oh, cool. Right? Because isn't yeah. this the... Yeah. This is the beginning of the Hybrid Towers. Mm -hmm. I'm still not sure if I like kombucha, though. Well, because you got, Cause I got, you got a, ginger flavored, right? Yeah, which I thought was going to be more of the artificial ginger, but it was actually, like, real ginger, and I don't like real ginger that much. Mm. Like, I like little bits of it to kind of have that little pop of, like, fake lemongrass flavor, but, like... Too much of it tastes like soap to me. Yeah, you know, I hear that from a lot of people. Yeah, it tastes like soap if I eat too much of it. And this, like, kombucha that I'm trying is, like, on the borderline of that. Oh, really? But it's still good because it's got the right balance of flavors for me to like it. I just like the way Yuka came out of there. It's like... <laughs> 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 but yeah, like... I think I might need to try a different flavor to confirm whether or not I like kombucha. Because okay. I was nervous that it was going to be too vinegary flavored for my liking because it does have that sort of weird tanginess from like the fermentation of the tea. But I kind of like it because it's the right amount of vinegary flavor for me and I like vinegar. So, yeah. Not super hooked on it just yet. I'm not going to be, like, praising it and thinking no, it's, yeah, like, the food of the gods didn't you, or Well, because didn't you have a coworker who really wanted you to try it? She did. Actually, I had two people I knew. Um, our friend Constance wanted me to try it. Oh, yeah. She was in a, a video. She was in the verses yeah. of, um, uh, what was it? The Capcom versus SNK2. Yeah, yeah, she was. And she's been making it herself because you can make it yourself. And she was suggesting I would try it because, like, I have stomach issues every now and again. And all the probiotics would help with that. Especially anything that's fermented is easier to digest. So she suggested it, and then one of my coworkers suggested it because she's like, well, if you want more probiotics in your diet, you could try this kombucha stuff because I know you like tea. So that was kind of where she went with that. Ooh. So yeah, i just been very hesitant because it's got weird stuff on the bottom. And I'm not really too keen on weird stuff being on the bottom of my drinking stuff. Oh yeah, I agree. It just feels like there's something wrong with it. <laughs> Which I know for kombucha or anything fermented, 
that's normal. That's, that's an okay thing. It's yeah, not weird at all. It's, it's but kind of what you'd expect. It's just hard for me to get past that. Yeah, no, I, I completely understand that. So that's why I've avoided it. Oh, for the so bubble long. does have a limited time. Oh, it's okay. pretty it's very, very um not lenient uh, fair. It's very a uh, fair amount of time. Yeah. Oh, scary jellies. Scary jellies Whoa, gonna eat you. You've got a stack load of us pages. What? what? A stack load? What, what is that? So I found more than one. Oh. You found half a book. Wait a minute, if that thing has a white outline, does that mean I can eat it? You know, with the with the state? Ooh, with yeah. the, the, the slurp state? Because that's been my experience so far with things with white outlines, is that they're, they're things with the, with the state they're ability. Edible. Yeah, so we'll, I'll give it a try if I if can. If it's got a white outline, kids, totally lick it. This thing... Don't lick it. Don't lick things just because they have a Actually, white outline. That is very bad. I'm having trouble getting up to those areas. I thought with my springy jump and my flight, I could get to those. Uh, speaking of constant, she's moving soon, isn't she? Yeah, she is. She's moving up north a little bit more. Oh, okay. I'm not going to tell the exact location. No, of course not. But I, I didn't know where she was moving to at all. But so no, she's no moving, that she's moving more north. More northwest to a big Understand. city that we know of. Okay. Yeah. Because, um, yeah, I was thinking, you know, because she's only been in the one... Versus video so far, you know, it kind of reminds me of um, our other friend Lance. He's been in a lot of videos, actually, because he was in the first Fortune Street Versus that we did. Well, technically the second one. Mm -hmm. This door shuts by any time someone walks by. That's rude. I'm starving. KG's eat? So I'm pretty sure, I don't know this for sure. This is just a guess, but based on other things I've seen, like Travel Stack Tropics, I'm guessing there is some type of um invisibility power um mm, based on the fact that there yeah. are things i have that i have to like avoid the sight of and also um that yuka's a chameleon so oh, just just yeah. just context <laughs> just just context clues there tell me there's going to be some that kind of is invisibility kind of something power. that's missing from his uh character design <laughs> As, as, a it, uh, as a chameleon, yeah, yeah, because I mean, that's like the right now, because right, because right now, like Lely has sonar and can fly, but what about Yuka as a chameleon? I mean, right now you, he's just kind of rolling up into a ball. You know, Yuka's just one of those chameleons that doesn't know how to camouflage. Yeah, he has to learn it later he's, from a snake. Or no, 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 he pants. just he just can't. He's like disabled or something. It's but, just not in his genes to camouflage. But, but I mean, both Constance and Lance were people who were kind of, you know, in the group of our regular circle of friends. But now Constance is moving and Lance already moved. Yeah. Um, you know, we're he. just, we're all growing up. <laughs> we're all grown up and I, running I mean, away. I, I moved away from our circle. <gasps> Halloween Town! Ah. I mean, I moved away. We moved away from our yeah. circle of friends as well, um, which we is why they're away. not in a lot of the videos anymore. It's yeah. it's only like, hey, once a year I get together with all my friends and Taylor and we record a bunch of verses and LPs and I stuff. I think we were the first to move away. I know you were probably the first to move away from our Well, even, yeah, even just going to college, yeah. Yeah. I, I Or going to university, I, I, I moved away. Way. Um, although uh, Taylor wound up going to the same university later. Yeah, he came. He went there when I went there. Right. But yeah. I'm actually having a fun exploring the Ivory Towers now. Cool. I think you know getting a few more powers really helped. Mm -hmm. Ah, Jack O'Hunter. This one looks at me too. Ah. Well, hey there, buddy. I want to hug you. And since I am dead, I can take off my head. I grew up on that Tim Burton film. I grew up on a lot of Tim Burton films. Was there films. an enemy inside of there? Maybe. Huh. All the music sounding Halloween-ish. Oh, really? I can't hear it. Let me listen. Yeah. It's like oh, hey, a new film. world! Oh, are we gonna go to the Tim Burton world? Okay, let's go to, let's go to a Halloween world! Let's go. Let's All go. Right. It's like, I, I love Halloween. Uh, you do. Halloween I, used to be my favorite holiday. You only seven. Whoa, seven. And we only Ooh. barely have enough to visit M Moody, Moody Maze Marsh. Moody Maze. You know, the Vanji Kazooie games have always had world names like that. I feel like they're just kind of making fun of them. In this game, <laughs> Glitter yeah. Glaze Clay, Glitter Glaze Cave, Moody Maze Marsh. I think they are. It's fun. But yeah, no, I love, love, love Halloween. Yeah, it used to be my. I was gonna say it used to be my favorite holiday. Uh, until I was in about second grade, I think, and I went to like 
a really, really scary haunted house. Yeah. So you're, you're still... And then I got traumatized. <laughs> yeah. See, I grew up with God, a family that God, and then I need eight Halloween. pages to expand. Yeah, I wasn't planning on going to a new world originally, but uh, hey, as long as we're here... Yeah. Here's a piece of awkward trivia. I was actually conceived on Halloween. Oh, that's And I cool. thought my mom was full of shit when she told me, but I actually Confirmed found it. a conception calculator somehow where it like you typed in the time day year and month you were born and then it would tell you what day you were conceived uh -huh. and lo and behold i was conceived during that halloween i'm like oh my god my mom was not shitting me that's cool <laughs> It's really weird and kind of explains why I am such a morbid person. <laughs> to be honest. Ah, oh, that stupid thing's running away! Get back here, Paigey! It thinks I'm a, I'm a corpulent. You stupid fucker. So I think I'm just supposed to try to catch it. Do I look like a corpulent to you? Huh? I got a freaking bat on my head! A oh, corpulent has a it. bat on your yeah. head! Yeah! You've not heard the last from Crazy Kirkhope! <laughs> it's named after Grant Kirkhope! Alright, I, I meant that? to... Oh, he's like one of the main composers of this game. Oh, okay, yeah, uh, that was a... I wouldn't know that. Okay, well... <laughs> you okay there, Yuka? Alright, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll explore Halloween Town next time. Bye! Bye-bye!